making glutamic acid from MSG and heartache. For this procedure, I'll use 25 grams of MSG or 0.15 moles. Here you can see these tiny MSG crystals up close. Then I pour out 45 milliliters of Harpic. Harpic is a lime scale remover. Therefore, it contains 10% hydrochloric acid which reacts with the lime scale calcium carbonate to form a water-soluble calcium chloride. In this reaction, the hydrochloric acid from the Harpic reacts with the MSG to form sodium chloride and glutamic acid in a double displacement reaction. After moving the MSG to a conical flask, I start by adding the Harpic. The stuff floating on the MSG crystals is actually the glutamic acid being formed. Here you can see the glutamic acid more clearly after the mixture has been stirred. I now move the mixture to a bigger conical flask. As this mixture is being poured, you can see some of the oobleck properties. After the mixture has been settled for some time, I filter it to remove any of the dyes, impurities and water from the mixture. For context, I am using tissue paper as a filter paper since I want to try and make this using materials I found at the supermarket. Here you can see the residue which is the glutamic acid from this tissue paper. Here is some of the residue I had collected from a broken tissue paper which is one of the limitations of using tissue paper as filter paper. And here you can see the broken tissue paper. I have managed to recover most of the glutamic acid. This is the filtrate. It contains mostly salt and the dyes from the harpic, which I'll be discarding. This is all the glutamic acid that I've obtained. Now we move on to recrystallization. This is required to remove any of the impurities such as the dyes that still remain in the glutamic acid. So first we add them to two containers, a beacon and a conical flask. And then I add hot water in which glutamic acid is soluble. After realizing that the solution won't fit, I bought out a bigger jar. from the tissue paper in solution which I then remove. After I let the solution settle, after 2 hours you can see some of the crystals being formed at the bottom. After about 2 days, more bigger crystals have formed. On the top, you can see some of the crystals floating on the solution. Finally, after a week, it's time to remove the crystals from the solution. So as you can see, some of the crystals have formed on the spoon. 
Now using that spoon, I removed the crystals from the bottom of the jar. I then drained the water from these crystals and I put it onto this petri dish. Here you can see the crystals are closed. Here's how the crystals look after they're dried up. As you can see, they have lost their color. The final yield seems to be 6.79 grams of glutamic acid.